Thank you. The local food truck industry is exploding in popularity this summer, but it could also increase some safety risks for workers. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh talked with the owners of some of your favorite low country spots on how they're dealing with the heat. Everyone loves the idea of on the go, and that's why food trucking has become so popular in the low country. But with heat indices in the triple digits, it has some rethinking if convenience is worth trading for safety. A phenomenon you may have seen online. Cancellation after cancellation from food truck workers due to the heat. While most are equipped with fans or AC, owners say it doesn't make a difference when you're firing up grills, cooking, and moving around constantly. It only takes up to an hour for a truck to reach up to 110 degrees. One owner says it's her passion, but it's not an easy gig, comparing a regular day of service to what she calls cooking acrobatics. Another offering advice for businesses still attempting to do what they love, even with extreme heat conditions. You're so busy on the, on the food truck, it's hard to take care of yourself um, and getting that water, getting the electrolytes, getting the salty foods in your, in your system. So you're busy the whole time and just got to remind yourself. Along with that sentiment, owners added it's always important to stay alert and aware of how you're feeling and take breaks when you need it. Reporting in West Ashley, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.